okay let us now check the design guidelines for rectangular water tanks in the previous video i have given you some theory regarding rectangular water tanks let us now see the design guidelines so entire design process will be in seven steps let us see all the steps one by one so this is step one step one is to write the permissible stress constants according to the grade of steel and concrete so sigma cbc and sigma st are needed here sigma cbc can be taken from is456 sigma st is from is3370 step two dimensions of water tank i will of course i will give you the values during discussion of numerical problem step two dimensions of water tank here volume is capacity in liters by thousand so if we could divide the capacity of water tank in liters with a thousand we will get the volume of water tank in meter cube second one is height of the water tank so easily we can find out then volume by area we will get the height in meters now height of the tank wall so this is only height of water then we have to define the height of tank wall that is height of water added freeboard so we have to add the freeboard it can be assumed suitably or may be given in the problem step 3 checking l by b ratio so first case let us assume if l by b uh, ratio is less than 2 then what happens the tank walls are designed as continuous slab subjected to water pressure h by 4 or 1 meter from the bottom whichever is greater so in the previous video i have mentioned that here as it is approximate method not absolute method we are assuming it as the maximum intensity of water pressure acts at this point where this is h i mean h by 4 or capital h by 4 or 1 meter from the base so we have to compare these two that means h by 4 and 1 meter we have to take whichever is greater now intensity of water pressure at this section so this is x section xx so here the intensity of water pressure is calculated as p is equal to gamma into h minus h here gamma is a unit weight of the water we are considering it as 10 kilo newton per meter cube next step so we have to calculate the moments moments in sidewalls are determined by moment distribution method so we have to apply this method in order to find out the maximum moment so in that first fixed end moments long walls is this much short walls is this much we know wl square by 12 while uh, analyzing fixed beams right so this is for long walls p l square by 12 for short walls p b square by 12 near P is the intensity of water pressure, L is the long wall length, B is the short wall length or tank width. Second one is central moment, bending moment at the center. So we are assuming it as a simply supported beam carrying UDL over the span. So what is that? WL square by 8, right? So for long walls, it can be taken as P, that is water pressure, water intensity, L square by 8. For short walls, it is PB square by 8. Now distribute the moments using the moment distribution method and also find the maximum moment. See here, it is an important point. In absence of moment distribution method, if you could not remember the moment distribution method which was which you have studied in lower classes, then you can also determine by using these approximate equations. That is what it says. In absence of moment distribution, the bending moment may be moments may be computed as uh, the following approximate expressions so bending moment at the center of span is given by pb square by 16 pl square by 16 these are for outer face so these two values are for water face i mean the face which is in contact with water that is for case one these entire process is for case one which is l by b is less than two then this is case two uh, if tanks of ratio is l by b is greater than two then what happens so we have to find out the maximum bending moment for long walls as this formula gamma into h cube by 6 we know that gamma is a unit weight of water that is 10 kilo newton per meter cube h is the height of the wall overall height of the tank wall bending moment for the short wall at 1 meter above the base i mean here 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 at this point at this point so that is given as this formula gamma into h minus small h into b square by 16 so you know all the components here you can easily find it out so maximum cantilever moment for short walls we will take it as this much 
So we have to compare these two values and we have to consider whichever is greater. That is about step 4. Calculating the moments. Now we see the step 5. Design of long walls and short walls. Effective depth. That is under root m by q into b. q is a design constant here. That is given by this formula. That is half into j into k into gamma c b c. Sorry, sigma c b c. So again, a question occurs. What is j? j is 1 minus k by 3. Again, what is k? k is also a design constant that is given by m into sigma cbc by m into sigma cbc plus sigma st. Again, a question comes here. What is m? Here, m is a modular ratio. You know this very well, I think. So that from IS456, the value is given as m value as 280 by 3 into sigma cbc. Sigma cbc is a value we have initially written in the design constant step one so we can find out the overall depth after finding out the effective depth next in that next part is calculating the forces in the walls so direct tension in the long wall is given by this formula tl here see here pb by 2 when you are calculating in the long wall we have to consider the short length Similarly, for direct tension in the short wall, we have to consider Tb is equal to Pl by 2. For B, we are considering the length. So, vice versa, we have to take. Next part is to calculate the reinforcement. This is the formula in order to calculate the reinforcement in long walls. So, see here that is M minus T into X by sigma ST into JD. X is a small h or 1 meter, whichever is greater. Plus TL by sigma ST. Sigma for short walls, we have to consider entire formula is same as long walls, but here only this thing will change. That is TB. Instead of TL, we are putting TB here. That's all. Step 6. It is about designing floor slab. So for floor slab, M10 concrete is enough. We have to provide the nominal reinforcement. We, will, we shall see that in the numerical. Step 7 is we have to design the I mean, we have to draw the reinforcement details. Let us see the numerical in the next video.